it's good to have everybody join us this hour as we continue our prayer for the continent of Africa. And I uh, also want to take the time to thank everyone who prayed for our trip to uh, French Polynesia. Uh, it was a very fruitful uh, trip. And thank you for petitioning on our behalf. Uh, we see what God is doing in Africa and the, in response to prayer. The power of prevailing prayer cannot be overemphasized, cannot be overstressed. There is power to prayer. And uh, our Lord Jesus Christ used it effectively in his ministry. And uh, why shouldn't we? If God man used prayer, uh, he made prayer the focal point of his ministry. He began his, his ministry with prayer. Uh, in Luke, we are told he spent the whole night in prayer to our Father. The whole night before he selected his disciples. Uh, imagine, uh, he knew all these people. He could have just by acquaintance selected his disciples. But no, he spent the whole night in prayer to the Father, that the Father would appoint the people, that we choose the people who would uh, accompany him in the ministry. And he began with prayer and he ended with prayer when he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. And prayer was so vital in his ministry. And he has given us this mandate to pray. We don't need to spend our time finding out the reason why we should pray or asking why should we pray since God already knows all the, our needs. We shouldn't do that. Uh, if, if God man himself engaged in prayer, if the Holy Spirit, uh, who is not even God man, uh, uh, God himself engaged in spirit, in prayer, I see no reason why we should not take this call, which the Father said, call upon me in the time of trouble, I will answer you. And uh, we see the impact of our prayers. Uh, Africa is feeling that impact. Uh, we hear testimonies of people coming to, to, to embrace the truth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And people are abandoning falsehood, which is what we have, we've been hammering and praying for great revival. And uh, it, it is my hard desire that we will see an outburst of revival in our day, not when we are gone. And when this, what we are doing here, for us to be able to reap the fruit while we are still alive, to see God turn Africa upside down. Uh, with, with that, we're still much time. Uh, we will call our uh, our prayers in group, and the, uh, when the first uh, group will pray, we will join hands with them by means of faith and uh, reaching out to them as they lift us in prayer. And before we do, I'm going to call our beloved brother, uh, uh, Richard, uh, to open us in prayer. Uh, let us join him in prayer. Brother Rich. Rich, we can hear you. Okay, would you open us in prayer? We're doing it. Okay, Moses, he had to, his computer wasn't working. He had to run in and get on mine. 
Okay, no problem. He's right. here now. Can you hear okay. me now? Yeah, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Father God, we come before your throne once again as your children. Scattered all over the planet, we come to you in corporate prayer. We lift up unanimously and in concert the continent of Africa headed by Abuja. And Father, we ask you to call down a revival, a reformation of the African people within that country. They have a heart for the word, but they just don't have the truth. Mm. They need the truth in order to understand your purpose, your message, and your desire for their growth and help in getting the gospel out to others. And Father, we need your help to provide education, strength, stamina for the pastors. Give them the ability to understand what it is they're studying, how to present that gospel clearly to their people around them. And these things we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Uh, now we want to uh, uh, join hands with our brother David, who will pray for open hearts uh, to the gospel. And then uh, our brother John Cookie will pray, uh, give a, uh, a prayer of thanksgiving for many who are already embracing the truth and those who are responding to the gospel. And that will be our brother John Cookie. And Brother Perry will pray that God will send prepared missionaries and Bible teachers. Uh, and uh, Brother Sei would uh, pray that church leaders will abandon falsehood as they are already doing. And uh, Brother Claim that believers would discern between falsehood, between falsehood and truth. That believers would discern between falsehood and truth. Let's join hands as we pray alongside with them. Almighty God, we come before you at this time, Father, here and where in America in the afternoon, Father, but we know that there are people, as Reverend Moses has alluded to, joining hands, Father, and we just imagine that in our minds, Father, hands stretched out, covering the globe, Father, praying to you, praying to the almighty God of the universe, all powerful, no one above you, Father. We do so knowing that we are helpless without you. Mm -hmm. We do so knowing, Father, that you will be listening to our prayers, Father, and we know that you will answer our prayers with certainty, mm -hmm. just as we are certain of the salvation that you made possible, Father, through the sacrifice of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Suffered, died on the cross, is risen, Father, and made it possible by taking on our sins, Father. And Father, we come before you in prayer today for open hearts, not only for believers, Father. We need to open our hearts each and every day and take your word and take the love, Father, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was constantly spreading, Father, he opened his heart to, to everyone. But we do so, Father, specifically for the continent of Africa, the millions of people in many different countries, Father. But, Father, we worship one God. Mm -hmm. And we come before you today uh, with these prayers for open hearts, knowing that each and every opportunity, Father, that believers have, that we pray that they would serve as a fifth gospel, even, even if they smile. Mm -hmm. Father, we're, we know that you have the methods to open their hearts. But, Father, we want to call upon our believers to be witnesses, Father, mm -hmm. the truth of your word. We know that uh, through your word, Father, uh, in the book of Acts, 
you open the heart of Lydia to accept the message of Paul, Father. And we know that you can do that to each and every individual. To hear the word, Father, to believe the word and be saved. And Father, we know that every individual who opens their eyes in the morning cannot help but see the beauty of your creation, Father. We pray that all these things working together, along with hearing the truth, Father, will open their hearts to receive that word, Father. We pray also, Father, that they hear the word and be able to discern the truth from the lies perpetrated by the evil one, Father. And as Brother Richard alluded to, Father, uh, many falsehoods being taught. And we pray, Father, that the truth is what they hear and what they take in. Father, we come before you this afternoon in prayer for this, knowing uh, that you will answer these prayers, Father. We, we ask you to prepare the open hearts to receive your word. Amen. We ask these things by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, I want to thank you for what you're doing in Africa. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies that are bound for everyone. Mm. We thank you, Father, for as many that are embracing the truth of the truth from the testimonies that are, we've heard. So many people are eager and thirsty, hungry for the truth. Mm. We thank you for the various ministries that you've used, GM and many other ministries who are actually teaching the truth. Thank you for what you're using them to do. Thank you for us many that have sat under the truth and are ready to apply the truth in every situation and every conditions of life. And they have actually come up being fruitful and have seen the benefits of embracing the truth. Because when the truth is there, darkness will be dispersed. Mm -hmm. We thank you for what you're doing in the lives of these ones. Thank you for as many as have also picked up this truth and disseminated them in their various uh, nooks and corners, shining as light for the world to see. We also want to thank you, Father, for as many that are embracing the gospel. Just like Paul said, that he is not ashamed to preach the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Thank you, Father, for as many as have become positive, even in times like this, to embrace the, the, the gospel. And also, we thank you for those that have put themselves in line, even in harm's way, even in difficult times, to make sure that they preach this gospel unto the people. As long as the opportunity has come, they have preached this gospel. We thank you, Father, for your grace upon the lives of those ones. Thank you for the materials you've provided. Thank you for the opening doors. Thank you for the resources. Thank you for the strength, the health, and the ability to be able to go out there to preach. We thank you for the people that have become positive, the people that have made themselves available also to receive these truths. We continue to thank you for what you're doing. And it's also our prayers that you continue to hold us, no matter what is happening, no matter what is the hindrance, we'll still forge ahead to present these truths. We thank you for every resources. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love for the world. We come before you in thanksgiving, even as we lift up this thanksgiving in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Our Heavenly Father, we can never thank you enough for your love and faithfulness. We recognize the fact that in days of trouble, we need to call upon you. And so we know that every country, Father, is in need of more of you. 
And Father, at the same time, we petition you on behalf of all those that you're preparing day in and day out. You knew in eternity past that those who you would send would have all the information that they would need in order to help continue your plan. So we want to pray that you would continue to send prepared missionaries and sound Bible teachers to Africa, to all four corners. Because, Father, we know that you've got a wonderful plan for Africa. We've already seen the fruit from which has already taken place, and we are thankful that we know that you hear us. Mm. And we find that from every example in the Bible that someone cried out to you, you answered. Yeah. And your time and your timing is absolutely perfect. And so we thank you for the materials that you continue to provide that help them become sound teachers. Father, I also pray that you would uh, give them strength as they uh, go through this day. We know that there's a lot of chaos all over the world, but in the midst of that chaos, you continue to work and you continue to build your church. We thank you so much and we love you. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Dear Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you very much because of your loving kindness. Mm. Thank you for your faithfulness that is demonstrated in answers to our prayers. Mm. Father, we are grateful. The Bible says, known unto God are all his works, even before the foundation of the earth. Mm. Thank you, because you know before the world began that a time like this we come, mm. that you will put in the heart of your servants to call all of us together mm. and to petition you, Lord, to behalf of Africa. Hmm. Thank you. We are very grateful, Father. Thank you for the revival that has begun. The revival of abandoning of falsehood. The, re the revival of men of God turning to the truth. Only you can do this. Hmm. Thank you, Father. This indeed is the doing of the Lord and it's marvelous in our eyes. Hmm. Lord, we are grateful for what you have begun. We know you are faithful that you will continue what you have begun. Thank you because we know this revival will catch up with every nation, every nation in Africa. We catch up with every state. We catch up with every Christian leader, every man and every woman of God. Thank you, our Father. The Bible says you want all men to be saved not only to be saved, but to come to the knowledge of the truth. Thank you, Father. We pray again this hour, even as we join faith together and join our hands together, that, Father, the heart of kings, your word says, are in the hand of the Lord. Mm. That you turn it with us wherever you will. The Lord, every man that must be arrested, Every preacher that must be arrested, every Christian leader that needs to be arrested in order to come to the truth, knowledge of the truth, in order to change their ways, to abandon falsehood and embrace the true gospel. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask that you will arrest them. Father, we ask that you will lay your hand upon them. Father, we pray that you will touch them by your power. You will touch them by your spirit. We ask that, Lord, you will not leave them to themselves, mm -hmm. that they will not be at rest until they have come to the knowledge of the truth. Father, this is our desire. This is our petition. The Lord, go ahead by your mercy, O God, and transform Christian leaders and bring them to the truth of the gospel, to the truth of your word. Lord, let this fire cut across every land. Mm -hmm. Let this fire penetrate every ministry. Let this fire penetrate every heart. Bring them to the obedience of the truth, mm -hmm. the obedience of your word, the obedience of the knowledge of the 
gospel of Christ. Father, this is our prayer and our petition. Yeah. And we believe that greater testimonies will follow to this prayer right. in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Brooklyn. Roger, would you please pray for God to cause believers to discern between false food and truth? Holy Father, we thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you for your plan for what you are doing in the continent of Africa. We pray this hour that you touch the heart of your children in the continent of Africa, especially those that are engrossed in the era of falsehood. Of a truth, many desire to know the truth and to teach the truth. But all they know is falsehood. Many, because of selfish gain, even when they know the truth, they don't want to teach it or practice it. Father, we pray that you, God, who house what it takes to turn the heart of man. We said in the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 1, that the heart of the king is in your hand. Father, we pray that you touch the heart of every minister, every pastor. Whoever is in the position of sharing your word, from the man that stands in the pulpit and the ones and those that walk in the streets and homes. But I pray that let every one of them abandon falsehood. We pray that let the transformation begin to take place in their life. Let them begin to desire the truth. Let them begin to seek it, and those that already know it, let them begin to share it without fear. Father, I pray that you meet them at the point of their needs, that they will be able to do this without fear or favor. This we ask in Christ's name. Amen. 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 As we bow down, uh, this join with the uh, this group, as they lift this individual request before God, uh, Brother Kim, uh, for an outbreak of evangelism, that there would be such an outpouring of evangelism in Africa. And for Ungo, uh, uh, Luis, to pray for children and youth to turn to God. And we, for our brother DK to pray for GM headquarters that God will use it as a launching pad for the truth. And for our brother Peter to pray for GM Africa for many open doors and provision for reprinting our books, which are in high demand. Let's join hands with this in prayer. That is Brother Kim, Mungo, and DK, and uh, Peter. All right, thank you. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this privilege to come before you to make requests. But this time we're praying that you will, you will cause, that there will be an outbreak of evangelism mm. in Africa. Mm. Lord, we know that this is in line with the command, your command in Mark 16, he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Lord, we we we're desiring and asking that like an outpouring, O oh Lord, that this will you will stir the hearts of believers in this continent to put a burden to win souls to Jesus Christ. Mm. Lord, we are praying 
as you have been doing, that it will please you to use uh, GM to, to work and contribute in this area. Mm. Uh, through the conferences and through the printed materials, that the fire, people will catch the fire. Mm. People will receive the burden to preach the gospel and evangelize the lost. Heavenly Father, thank you for the tools, the evangelism tools. Mm. Thank you for riding the dead train, all the evangelism materials. Lord, we ask that, like the breaking out of fire, mm. that a spirit of evangelism will break out in the land. Mm. Lord, prepare us, prepare us, Stir us up. So it's just you, you taught the disciples and then you sent them. Mm -hmm. Lord, through the work of GM in Africa, we pray that an army will rise, an army of soul winners, an army of people reaching out, witnessing the gospel, that this army will be formed. Lord, we're also praying that as you stir up this spirit and cause an outbreak of evangelism in the land, that there will be churches mm -hmm. who will disciple believers, the new believers, in the truth. Mm -hmm. Because when there is an outbreak, there will be a need to teach. There will be a need to train. There will be a need to help people to understand the truth. Lord, we pray that as you stir this, O oh Lord, we ask that in your way, you will raise Bible teachers, raise mm. churches that would disciple people in the truth. Father, we thank you because you, you can read our hearts, you can read our minds, and you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. This is our desire. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I can hear you. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for this time of prayer. I thank you for this time of prayer. I thank you, Lord, that we can come to you with confidence, O oh Lord, and ask and know that we shall receive. Father, we are coming to here today on behalf of the African youths and children. I pray, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will help them turn to you. We pray, Father, that whatever it is, whatever question it is that they have in these dark times, I pray that we, that we find answers to it in you. I pray that God, whatever it, that the African youth and the African children today, we find help in you, we find light in you, we find, we find truth in you, Lord. I pray that you draw them to you mm -hmm. as you are lifted up. I pray that as this word, as the word comes to them in their hearts, as the word comes, that they find understanding, I pray that the word meets them at the time of their need. I pray that this word shines light into their hearts. Amen. 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 Father, we once again lift Jim Africa's before you, headquarters before you in our prayers today. Amen. We ask that it will continue to be used as a springboard mm. for the dissemination of the truth in Africa and beyond. Amen. We pray that the men and women you have put in this ministry will continue to receive divine insight, mm. courage, and strength that will enable them to fulfill this purpose. It is our prayer that you keep providing them we didn't get resources mm. to effectively carry out this mandate. We pray that all the print and electronic materials that go out from GEM headquarters in Tennessee, USA, to all the nooks and crannies of the world, 
will meet and satiate the spiritual hunger of the users and recipients. Amen. We pray that more and more people will assess these materials, especially in Africa, mm. where power, data, and network pose great challenge. Above all, we pray that the positive impact of this truth will be felt in every facet of life in the African continent. Amen. We lift our prayers in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Our gracious Father, the creator of the heavens and the earth, we are grateful to you for a time like this. We thank you, O oh God, that you don't only deserve that men will be safe, but that they will come to the knowledge of the truth. We thank you, Father in heaven, for how you have been faithful to grace evangelistic ministry. We thank you for the open doors that you have opened in various countries, particularly Nigeria, where we are benefiting from the truth. Father, it's not enough. There are many other countries that are yet to hear the truth. We pray, O oh God, that you continue to open doors so that the truth will continue to move to these countries. And Father, we thank you for the materials that have been printed. The sources are required because the needs for these materials, publications are increasing. Father, we ask that you will open doors provide resources so that these materials will be printed. I thank you, Father in heaven, because for me, it was through God's plan after salvation that I read that I've been blessed. And I'm still being blessed by all the material. And I know that there are many people, countless number of people, that need to have these materials. But we need money to print these materials so that it can also get to these people and also be blessed so that righteousness will not only be exalted in Africa, but even in the world. We thank you, O gracious Father, for using these ministries we pray, O oh God, that you will continue to raise men and women to support financially for the printing of these materials. The Bible says we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. And these truths are taught in these materials. We pray, O oh God, that you will have provide all the resources because you own them all. Silver and gold are yours. And Father, we ask that you raise these resources for the reprint of this material. We thank you for what you have been doing, even in printing these materials in audio form. We also thank you, O oh God, that we can even have access to these materials in electronic form. I pray, O oh God, that you have as many that are yet to know and help us to continue to share these links so that people will also have the opportunity to read and study these materials. Mm -hmm. Today, our lives have been altered for good because of what you are doing through Jen. And we are grateful. We desire that as many, particularly in Nigeria, will come to the knowledge of these materials. Help us to share them mm -hmm. wherever we move, as we enter bike, as we enter taxis, that will continue to distribute these materials to share the links. 
so that once again, the revival that we are trusting you and that has begun, they will witness it as it pleases you. Amen. And thank you, Father, for this time. We are grateful to you because each time we come like this, we always have confidence that you will not only hear us, you will answer us. Because we pray with thanksgiving to the one who loved us, even Jesus Christ, our Savior. In his name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, as we... So we continue to pray. We are reminded again that uh, prayer is very effective and very important in our lives. And often we see great results and we don't know that uh, either someone or a group of people are praying before the result takes place. And that was true in the time of uh, Israel. They were having great uh, victory in the battlefield. But uh, behind their victory was Moses on the mount, mountain with his hands lifted up to heaven, petitioning heaven, God for victory. And so uh, it's a privilege and honor for all of us to be part of this prayer uh, cycle whereby we are asking God to intercede. So let's join hands with, uh, I'm going to call uh, my sister DK uh, to pray for a great awakening in Africa. And my brother Uban to pray for political leaders in Africa. And for my brother Paul Cookie to pray that God will steer the hearts of African people to support his work in Africa. Africa has resources, especially in Nigeria. There are many that the Lord has blessed with financial resources in, in Africa, that God will move their hearts to support his work financially. And that we uh, pray for, ask uh, my brother, uh, Joe Aliwatu pray that God would ignite the fire of revival in our time. Uh, and one of those that is looking at it right now in our time. Uh, and that would be my sister DK, Uban, Paul Kuki, and Joe Aliwa. Let us join hands with them in prayer. Father, we thank you for your grace that has continued to abide with us, Lord, in the ministry, especially in grace evangelistic ministry. Thank you, God, for the burden you have given unto us mm. to cry out for Africa and other continents. Thank you for the great work you've been doing, oh God, in our nations and through this ministry. Mm. Father, Lord, we thank you for tonight, even as we pray for great awakening, O oh God of Africa. Thank you for the great testimonies, O oh God, which have been coming forth mm -hmm. from this ministry and for the prayers as we continue to stand in the gap for the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. Father, tonight, O oh God, we pray once again, Lord, to continue your great work. Lord, in the lives of ministers, in the lives of our churches, Lord, that there will be great awakening, people embracing the truth. Lord, not just hearing about it, not just reading about it, but Lord, to apply it in our daily lives. Amen. Father, we pray, oh God, that it will spread like white fire, mm. connecting from person to person. Connecting, O oh God, from minister to minister. Mm. Connecting, O oh God, from church to church, from denomination to denomination. Mm. Lord, until it will get to, the, to everyone, every man, because it is your desire, O oh God, that everyone should come to repentance. Mm. Father, we know that you'll do it. 
we give you praise. Mm. Thank you, Lord, as we continue to trust you to fulfill even what you have begun in us and mm. through the ministry of GM. May all glory be ascribed unto you, Lord, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Dear Holy Father, we are grateful for yet another opportunity to come before you and join in prayers, lifting Africa before your very presence. We pray for our political leaders, our presidents, heads of states and rulers, ministers, traditional rulers, royalties. We pray for men and women, those who make laws, lawmakers. We lift all, all these categories of men and women in power all across this country and this continent before you. Mm. Your word has commanded us that uh, the priority constantly ensure that we present them fully because everything that they do can impact our status as believers and ultimately impact even our mission here as Christians in our respective nations. Mm-hmm. So we ask you in that you more than ever before challenging times that you begin to continue to keep tabs on them by enforcing those divine guardrails. Mm. The kind of guardrails that are necessary to checkmate the excesses of the influence of political power. All across Africa, we see men and women in positions of authority who let it get into their head. A lot of them become intoxicated. Many of them do not even have any sense of norms and standards. We are seeing, we are seeing leaders calling black white and white black. We are seeing leaders tampering, tampering and tinkering with the electoral processes all across Africa. We are seeing leaders tinkering, tampering, manipulating even the judicial system for selfish gains, selfish means. Mm. And Father, that is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. That is the path to anarchy. So we are asking you more than ever before Mm. for for strengthened divine guardrails to check the excesses of powerful men and women in political offices who get so easily corrupted by the influence of power, who become so intoxicated that good judgment is lost. Mm. We pray for these people because they are also the custodians of law and order. Mm. How can we have justice in any nation in Africa when the political leaders themselves have lost every conscience of what is right from what is wrong. So we invite you now more than ever before, dear Father, intervene, Um, to intervene, to intervene with divine guardrails, to checkmate these men and women to restrain them, the impulses, the excesses of their old sin nature, divine monitoring of their activities, keep them under the observation, restrict them, restrain them, but above all, Father, influence them mm-hmm. to always do the right things. Influence them to always provide leadership based on care, for the citizens that they are the custodians of across the continent of Africa. Mm. We're asking you, Father, and apart from that, that you raise believers, the Daniels of our time, the Jeremiah's of our time, Mm. the Josephs of our time, who will go into politics, who will see politics professionally, Dan was in politics throughout his life. He was in management, he was in governance, and he was a 
prepare and continue to advance, we need to begin to change the attitude of believers towards governance, towards politics, to understand that it is a profession and they can stand in political positions with integrity, with honesty, hmm. in line with your word. We need more of such believers, and we are asking you to raise them, to divine the whole Christians who are professionals to take on more responsibilities in governance so that the corridors of power, they can become the voice of reason. You can, they can be used as instruments to moderate some of these excesses. This Father, we ask and we lift up to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Most gracious and ever-living Father, we thank you once again for the privilege you've given to us to be part of this fellowship and to call upon your holy name because we believe that you are the owner and provider of all things. Mm. We lift up Africa before you. We lift up the work of GEM in Africa. We ask that you make provision for the support of this work. Amen. That you raise men and women who will give generously to the glory of your name. Amen. Men and women, O oh Lord, who will carry the burden of this ministry in Africa, who oh, be willing, O oh Lord, to give sacrificially, who oh, be willing to give selflessly, who oh, be willing to give generously, who mm. oh, be willing, Lord, to go to any extent to see to it that this work is accomplished mm. to the glory of your name, that men and women are redeemed from the bondage of falsehood mm. that men and women as many as have been deceived and led astray by false teachings will be re made to come to know you mm. lord you have blessed africa with abundant resources and we know we have it because you have made this provision we know that even people from other continents have used Africa to enrich their continents. Mm -hmm. How much more would you not make this nation, this continent of Africa, Lord, to raise funds in order to serve your cause? We pray that, Lord, that you would cause men and women to support the work of GM in Africa. Mm -hmm. That they will see the need to support a ministry that is willing to spread the truth that men and women will be truly liberated from the bondage that we see all over our, our continent, and particularly in Nigeria, Lord. Father, we ask that silver and gold belongs to you, mm. and you are able, O oh Lord, to open doors to make sure that this silver and gold are made available hmm. for the service of your work. And so we pray, Lord, that you touch the hearts of men, touch the hearts of your people, touch the hearts of those who love you, hmm. touch the hearts of those who, Lord, seek your will, touch the hearts of those whom you have called to be part of this great ministry to serve you that your name alone be glorified. Amen. Father, we say thank you because you have made provisions. Yes. We say thank you because you have answered us. We say thank you because you will even do more than we have requested. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, unmute yourself, uh, uh, Joe. Uh, 
and he may be having problem. Brother Frank, would you mind pray that God would ignite the fire of revival in Africa? Brother Father, we commit Africa again into your hands. You are the God who turns things upside down for your glory. We ask, O oh Lord, that the darkness, the spiritual darkness that we are presently experiencing in Africa, that, Lord, we turn it around and cause that revival will break forth Amen. in every corner of Africa. We ask, Lord, that your word will find fertile grounds in every nook and cranny of Africa. We ask that your word will do what you said it, 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 it's able to do, mm -hmm. alive and powerful and sharper than any, every two-edged sword, that above the sword of the enemy, your word will go forth and cause revival in the hearts of men and women across the length and breadth of Africa. Yeah. We pray, Lord, that you will cause darkness to be removed and the light of the gospel to spread, to cause men to receive freedom, freedom from sin, freedom from the shackles, the enemy, the devil seeks to place them, so that indeed your word alone will have a free course in this continent to the praise and glory of your name. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. We ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 And we come to the last uh, batch in our prayer. I'm glad to see our brother Frank join us in our prayer. And uh, perhaps when you take up your prayer, please pray for the family of uh, uh, Olikifaya, uh, Frank's family, who, whose dad went to be with the Lord. His father was a staunch member of Grace Evangelistic Ministries. He was the, the first uh, person to receive us when we came to Lagos in, in almost 26 years ago, 27 years ago. His father and the entire family just swallowed us with our team, swallowed our team and carried us, always uh, looking forward to our visit. Uh, and uh, a man who loved the Lord, uh, loved the, the work of GM. Uh, he, he was called home to be with the Lord. So as you pray that God will create an immense hunger for truth, perhaps uh, you remember them Remember the family in your prayer. And uh, Brother Ohi will pray for GM Africa outreaches in Nigeria and the entire continent. And uh, while mentioning the, the conference which will take place in Port Harcourt and uh, Abuja in December. And uh, our beloved sister Debbie to pray that many churches would partner with GM Africa in every way. And Brother Yinka, for protection, provision, wisdom, guidance for the DG Board of Trustees, volunteers, and their family members. And for DG himself to pray for provision of landed property in Abuja for GM training center and office. And our brother Morris from Kenya to pray for war ravaged countries and opportunity for the gospel to penetrate this countries and our uh, brother from uh, India if he uh, if he if he is still with us uh, brother Ima to pray for genuine humanity love and unity among Christians in Africa and uh, brother Amechi will close us in prayer 
and that would be Babs, Ohi, uh, Sister Debbie, Yinka, and uh, Jojo, M Morris, Emma, and Amechi. And that would be in that order. Let's join hands with them as we continue to petition heaven for mercy. Our Heavenly Father, we are truly grateful for the opportunity and access that you have granted for us to be called your own. Mm. We belong to you. We know you are a God of integrity. You cannot lie. Mm. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. All your words are true and eternal. Mm. Father, we come before you with a humble heart that you create a deep thirst and hunger of your truth in the heart mm. of your children. Thy word, O Lord, is truth. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Without mm. your truth, we are deceived. Without your truth, we have no joy. Without mm. your truth, we cannot worship you. Father, most African believers feel your word is just a means to getting rich. They twist your word as a means of obtaining filthy lucre. But you, O oh Lord, has said that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. We therefore ask you to let the hunger of your truth born in the hearts of your children. Let them see that the alternative they are seeking for in the world is only a momentary pleasure which destroys them at the end of the day. Remove away from them any worldly comfort or pleasure that is deceiving or distracting them and keeping them from recognizing your truth, O oh Lord, and make them test and hunger for your truth. Amen. Father, we ask you, that your children come to know who you are and know that Christ is truth and your word alone is truth. May your children know no rest until they realize it, that your truth in your word can bring peace, joy, contentment, and with great gain. Father, we ask you to open the eyes of understanding of your children, that they may realize the hope of their calling, of your calling, that they may come to understand that the true transformation occurs when we live by your truth. It is a transformation that occurs, first of all, from within our thinking and then expresses itself on the outside. Mm. Father, we realize that Africa cannot be transformed or be what it is you've desired it to be until, first of all, Africans themselves are transformed by this truth. Your hunger, O oh Lord, is what we cry out for in the hearts of your children today. That is why we cry tonight at your throne of grace mm. to create this immense hunger for the truth in the heart of your people. We give thanks to your name for your loving kindness and your truth. Mm -hmm. For you, O oh Lord, have magnified your word according to all your name. May we continue to walk according to your word May we continue to stand and keep standing in your truth so that the world may see your good works and glorify you in heaven. Mm. May we continue to rightly divide the word of truth. May we continue to grow in grace mm. to the praise and glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we pray for our dear brother Frank whose father just departed to be with you. We thank you for your promise because we know his father is face to face with you, O oh Lord. Mm. Father, we ask you to comfort the family at this period. Mm. The family is probably going through a very difficult time, but you are the God of all comfort. Mm. Show them love. Show them that that which the righteous man has done during his time, has even blessing and implication generations down. Mm -hmm. This is the dad that first received GEM when GEM came into Lagos 26 years ago. 
thank you for the work he has done, he has gone to be with, with you now. Now the family, may they continue to walk according to your step. Amen. Because we know at the end of it all, Father, we shall all be together with you at your feet. Come Amen. for the family once again, I ask you, Father. We use Frank here as a point of contact to the entire family. Strengthen them. Give them hope. Let them know that, yes, you are the resurrection and the life. Mm -hmm. We shall all be with you together someday. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. 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 Brother Ohi. <laughs> Brother Ohi. Okay, Brother Perry, please pray for GM African outreaches in Nigeria and the entire continent, including our coming conferences. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for, again, all that you continue to do and for answering these prayers. We want to bring to your attention the GEM and GEM Africa and all the GEM offices, Father, that they would continue to have all the resources and people necessary to do the work that you've called them to do. What a privilege and an honor it is that we get to pray, that we get to come to you with these issues and we thank you in advance for continuing to connect all of these people together. Again, I'm just thankful, Father, that we can continue to be used. And uh, I look forward to uh, the new publications that uh, are produced. And uh, looking forward to hear the wonderful stories. It's incredible when we look back and see over the last 20 years uh, what you've accomplished uh, with the um, with love in mind, no money required. We're just thankful that you continue to support these ministries, that you continue to open every door that needs to be open and closed every door that needs to be closed. We love you and we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 And Sister Devi, please mention the coming outreach in Port Harcourt and Abuja. Dear Heavenly Father, we uh, come before your throne today so grateful to be uh, gathered together from all around the world in prayer. We pray um, that you would raise up churches everywhere, both all around the world, not only in Africa, but in America, but any others who... Uh, hear of what you're doing and want to partake in that. We just pray that you would get the word to many so they would understand, see what you're doing, and praise you for it. We pray also for the upcoming uh, events in Port Harcourt, how grateful we are to be uh, back in Port Harcourt after some time now when we pray that many in that part of the of the country who haven't been able to make it to Abuja will be able to uh, make it to Port Harcourt and it we pray also that it will really strengthen that that area we've seen the kind of uh, large churches with uh, lots of uh, not true doctrines being disseminated. And we just, uh, we pray for those churches too, that people from there, the pastors of them and individuals will have a chance to taste and see what's going on and that you would flip those churches. We see so many uh, believers, we're a country so rich in believers, how... Uh, we, we are so grateful for that, but how we wish that they would turn to truth uh, one by one and that then, then they would be mobilized 
to, with their changed lives, be able to reach out uh, with the gospel all through uh, the continent of Africa and and onward all to parts all around the world where uh, people are yet to hear. We also pray for the upcoming uh, conference in Abuja. Uh, we pray for that, for all the, we know for each and every one of these, there are so many logistics. There are, are uh, financial needs for uh, venues and food and lodging and transportation. Uh, we know there are rising costs and people are strapped and we just uh, pray that you will uh, make a way for many, many to attend. Mm -hmm. We just pray for uh, that you keep everyone healthy. We pray for uh, Joseph on the ground and all the other uh, leaders there who will also be pitching in and helping that they will be strong and healthy and that you will protect them we pray that you protect everyone as they travel and we just pray for uh, all the resources that are needed in order to uh, have the most successful conference and we pray also for all those who will attend, that lives will be changed, and that you will provide ways and means for people to attend. We pray for all the uh, outreaches that have been going on in the meantime to get ready for this, uh, advising people. We just are so grateful for that, Father. Such a blessing to see uh, so much positive volition and so many people turning to you after so many years. We're a blessing to see, and we thank you for it, and we are grateful most of all that it brings honor and glory to your holy name, and we ask all of this in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we want to appreciate you once again for the privilege you have to come to the throne of grace at this time to pray for Africa. The Lord, we're lifting up to you our DGs, uh, starting from our sister in the States, Sister Debbie, who is the DG there in the States, and then um, Reverend Tayo, then Reverend. We lost connection. Yinka, you are muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, we can now. Start oh, again. Great. All right, great. <laughs> Heavenly Father, once again, we want to thank you for the privilege we have to pray and to intercede on behalf of Africa and what you're doing through GM. We uh, specifically lift up to you, our DGs, Sister Debbie, um, Reverend Tayo, and then Reverend Akachaku. Father, we thank you for them and also for the, uh, the trustees, the volunteers, and their associates and their families. Lord, we thank you for uh, appointing them to uh, lead the work in various capacities that you have apportioned to them. Father, we, we are grateful. Lord, I request tonight, that this hour is for your protection over them. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. So, Father, we pray that you will 
protect them and keep them safe under the shadow of your wings. We're also asking for provisions for the work you've given them, provisions for their families. You promise that you will supply all our needs according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Amen. And so, Father, we're praying that as your work is being done your way, the Lord, it will not lack your provision. We're asking for wisdom. We're praying, O oh God, that as they continually absorb your word, the Lord, you will give them the wisdom to make applications in making various decisions on personal basis and decisions that affect the work. The Lord, you will grant them wisdom. But even as you gave unto Daniel in Babylon, the Lord, you will give your servant wisdom. As you gave to Joseph in Egypt, you give your servant wisdom. And so, Father, we pray that all their decisions will honor you, will glorify you, and will be blessing to your church and to the uh, to those who are seeking uh, salvation. I pray for guidance as well. The Lord, they will be guided in every aspect of this work. But for good health, the Lord, you will sustain their bodies. You will set apart their bodies. That with this body, that Lord, they will be able to serve you with fullness of joy. And Father, we thank you for all these things. And we know that they are according to your will. And so we thank you because you have heard us, because we pray. In the name of our high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Our, our Holy Father, we thank you for this privilege to come and petition and, and bring our supplication before you. Our Father and our God, we also Acknowledge that you are the awesome God of the entire universe. Father, we want to thank you for this ministry, grace evangelistic ministries worldwide. Thank you for everyone who you have brought under this commission. Lord, I want to appreciate you for giving the word into to this ministry and what you have been doing. We are grateful. Prayer, you have been answering and the provisions. We are thanking you. Father, at this moment, we come to remind you that it, in reality, we need our own place. We need our own uh, facility. We are in need of it. And I'm so certain that you know we are in need of a place that will be called our place of worship, a place where our program will be holding, our teachings, our uh, uh, seminaries, where people will come and learn. Father, you know we are in need of. So that is why we are presenting you our petition this evening, our God. For you said, faithful is he who have called you, and he will do it. Lord, we know you are so faithful, and you are going to provide these lands. There are lands available we have at hand right now. There's four of them in different places, Lord. But the finances to pick them up. Lord, even if you didn't give all the finance, you can you will cause the owners of this land said, Oh, come and have this land. There are a lot of places here in Ife City, here in Abuja. For the purpose of your kingdom work, we are asking, oh Lord, that you will touch the heart of the kings. You are touch the heart of men and women. You reveal our needs into their hearts. 
we are in need of a place to be called a place of grace, the evangelistic ministry is said, water here in Abuja. We are asking you because we know you are the only one who will never fail us. We are asking because you, you have told us that we should ask whatever we need and it will be given unto us. Our Father and our God arise. Arise in a time like this, in such a, a time like this, to sort this situation, sort worship, this facility we are looking for. Raise men and women who did it in, in, in their mind. It's nothing for you. For you always said it is nothing for you to have for those who are great or those who are mind. According to first second chronicle chapter 15, verse 11, it says, As I cried unto the Lord, and he said, It is nothing for you to help. And you helped him. You helped him go against the multitude. Lord, there is nothing that is difficult. By your stretch at arm, you are the God of all flesh. The psalmist said, The earth is yours. The land belongs to you. The people in this land belongs to you. And you have total dominion and control over the land in Abuja. Our God and our Father. We need this place. We need a secure place. Secure a place for us. To the glory of your name. A facility. A land, a land in our city. Where we can develop, where we can put our home, put our Bible school, put our training center. Lord, we are asking. It's not too much for you to do. Do it according to your own will, according to your own time, O oh Lord. Father, this are more we ask. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. 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 Brother Morris. Brother Morris, unmute, unmute yourself. Uh, Father God, we thank you for the priestly privilege of prayer that we have this uh, freedom and access to your throne and just we are able to present our petitions with such a confidence that you always hear us when we pray according to your will and you not only hear us but you answer every petition that we pray we thank you because we know who and what you are you are the almighty, sovereign, and loving God. You change not. You know all things. You are everywhere, at every time, in, in the same capacity. You are eternal, you are righteous, you are just, and you are gracious. Mm -hmm. For this reason, we just worship you as our God. Thank you, Father, for our continent, Africa. Uh, we know that uh, righteousness exalts a nation, but uh, sin is a reproach to any people. We look around Africa and we are seeing shame all over. Mm. We are seeing uh, political conflicts. We are seeing uh, wars. Many countries ravaged with war. We are seeing famine, diseases, mm. and many other things that have brought down Africa to a place of shame. Yet again, we reckon, oh, Father, that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man rival rules, the people will groan. Mm -hmm. For such a reason, many wicked men are in the, at the helm of leadership in Africa, and many nations are groaning. Many people are dying. Many people are sick and without food, without clothing, without shelter. And shame is upon our country. And for this reason, Father, we lift up a cry before your presence that we may once again look at Africa with favor hmm. because we know that which brought all this is sin is that many people are living independent of your eternal will, plan, and purpose. 
They are living apart from the guidance of the Holy Spirit. They are living apart from the guidance of your word. And for this reason, Africa is facing shame. But we join hands under the umbrella of Grace Evangelistic Ministries and our president, Rev. Moore, and the other officials. That Father, we are confident that you are hearing our prayers mm. and uh, healing Africa. Mm. And yet again, we know the only way you can heal Africa is uh, by making opening doors for the gospel to go out. Mm. By preparing men and women who can be bold enough to go in these war-ravaged countries mm. and uh, stand on the authority of your word and speak your truth there. Because we know even in the midst of the God conflicts, many will hear your word and believe in Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and there'll be a turning point. Amen. We are confident, oh God, that not only not all these conflicts are negative. Some of them are positive because they are meant to turn the hearts of men mm. from their feeble and defeated flesh to the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, Lord, we know that as we pray, there are men and women you are preparing. There are men and women also you are giving finances to us this very cause. That some may go to these countries, take there the good news, bring transformation in the lives of men, and this will bring peace in these countries. For we know there's no peace that can come from man. No peace can come from you and or any other intervention, human intervention, Meaningful peace can only come from you, you who is the Prince of Peace. Hmm. And that's why we have this confidence that, oh Lord, when the people will have revelation of your word, they'll have restraint. They'll not continue fighting one another. They'll have peace with you. They'll be reconciled back to you. And they'll have peace with each other. And Africa shall be a place that people will love to come and serve you. Lord, we pray once again that this continent does not have to depend on any other person anywhere. You have men and women in this continent who can be able to arise. You have men and women in this continent who can be able to give finances for these very purposes. And even as, I, as my other brethren have prayed for different issues here, Lord, I strongly believe that there are men and women in this continent who can zealously serve you in every area of calling and mm. bring a great awakening, a great transformation in this continent and there will be peace at in every corner of this country. We thank you for Nigeria where our president is setting up the headquarters of Africa. Lord, we pray that that country is blessed of you. We pray that all that he's doing there is blessed of you Amen. and not only blessed of you that it shall be fruitful in an evident way that we'll all see and say, look at the efforts of your servant. Like Apostle Paul said, <clears throat> that he had labored more than all, and uh, his labor was evident because of the work that he had done. We know that Reverend Moses has labored. We have known him to be a man who fearlessly takes the gospel out, even in the places that you will not imagine that he'll go. And therefore, Lord, for this reason, we pray for Africa to be the center for this great news in this great time that the whole world will look at Africa and know you afresh and serve you afresh. We give you glory and honor and because we know we are not able to pray for everything, but since you are all knowing, all able and all present, you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly beyond all we ask for in this prayer or even imagine in our minds because of the power of the Holy Spirit that is resident with us. Amen. For in this we rest, knowing that we are safe in your hands. Be glorified now and forevermore. For the Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, Brother, Brother Clem, would you please pray for, for genuine love, uh, unity, and the humility among uh, Christians in, in Africa? that uh, we will express the love of Christ uh, okay. among ourselves. And we... All right, shall we pray? Yes. Shall we pray? Yes, yes. Eternal Rock of Ages, again, we want to thank you because 
it's a wonderful privilege that we have this relationship with you. For this relationship came into being, not by our own will or the will of any man, but by your will. By your will, you begot us again mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. And so we thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. because through this relationship, we have the privilege of calling upon your name. And we'll have this deep assurance in our hearts that whenever we call, you are always there to hear us. And Lord, for all the petitions we have presented so far, we believe that you have heard us. You have not only heard, but you have answered, and our answers are parcels coming to us. And so by faith, we receive the parcels, and we joy, we thank you. We give you praise. Be thou exalted. And now, O oh Lord, we commit the GM organization into your hand. This is a living ministry through which lives have been transformed and changed. And Lord, everywhere the testimony is the same, that we see pure love and humility displayed. And so we pray that, Lord, you will strengthen this bond of love and unity amongst us. Lord, amongst our team in the U.S., in Europe, in Africa, and all over the world, we pray that you will raise more partners. And as they come and network with us, may your love be shed abroad in our hearts everywhere. That, Lord, your love amongst us will become our badge that people will see and they will know that truly these are followers of Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, let every form of rancor, schism, disenchantment be written away completely from amongst us. Lord, where are, where, whenever on misunderstanding occurs, grant us, Lord, the grace, that maturity, that wisdom to transcend beyond these offenses in our relationship. Help us mm. to learn not to take mm. offenses. Lord, mm. help us to also cultivate that attitude of quickly giving forgiveness mm. so that, Lord, our relationship will remain healthy and growing and becoming more and more vibrant in such a way that once people come into our fold, they will find it dif extremely difficult to leave us because, Lord, mm. they'll be overwhelmed, not just by our theology, but by our love and our attitude. Help mm. us, O oh Lord, and thank you for the example that we see in our leader, your servant, Brother Moses. We pray, God, that this humility will continue to rub off on us all. Help us, O Lord, that every day we drop every sense of pride and arrogance. Lord, with humility, we'll embrace the grace message, the grace, the truth of the grace. And that this truth of the grace will change us, will transform us, so that we become the epistles written in human form that others can read. Thank you, Lord, as you strengthen the bond of unity amongst us. Mm -hmm. Father, we give you all the praise. Be thou exalted forever in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Brother Mechi, please close us in prayer. Brother Mechi. Praise the Lord. Um, <clears throat> let us pray. Heavenly Father, it's been a wonderful time coming before your throne of grace, um, standing on the gap for, for Africa, for your work in Africa, and for your blessings upon the continent. Thank you for giving us this uh, privilege and opportunity. And thank you for the myriad of uh, prayer requests we've brought before your throne of grace. We thank you, Sovereign God, that you hear us more than we can think or ask. We want to thank you for the work of the evangelism in Africa. We want to thank you for the hearts that are opening to receive your word, the engrafted truth, which is able to save and to equip the saints and to give them inheritance both in time and for eternity. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for even the missionaries and uh, some Bible scholars and uh, teachers uh, who are sending to the continent of Africa to help disseminate the truth to all clarity and all boldness. 
Well, thank you for what you are doing in that area. And um, through the truth also, there are the four food and discussions and the uh, dilution of the gospel is being fought and uh, people's eyes are opening to sound truth and doctrine. I want to thank you in that area, Abba Father. I want to thank you that uh, even as believers in Africa, the 70s, they have this burden to likewise uh, share the gospel with as many as you bring their way. I want to thank you for that and uh, even inspiring and guiding youths who are now becoming uh, curious about uh, the truth in Africa, Lord, that youth who are taking up their banner to even search the Bible themselves, having, having had so many things that have been disseminated even through the social media, I want to thank you. So let your name alone be glorified in that area. Lord, we thank you for everything you are doing using the the platform of GEM headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee to do in Africa. I want to thank you for the men and women you have uh, placed in GEM Africa headquarters in Abuja who are coordinating your work throughout all the 54 states of Africa. Pray for our brother uh, Joseph Akachuku and the uh, is able to support the lieutenants and those who are working with him in the board and uh, all the rest of them out there. And uh, we pray for logistics, pray for their health, pray for their well-being, and also for their families and loved ones that they will not be a source of destruction. Heavenly Father, even for the facility that they're looking up, up to you for in Abuja, the earth and the fullness there of our Father belongs to you. Uh, may you grant your 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 people open doors and favor so that uh, this facility will be acquired and uh, GM uh, purpose will be accomplished in that area so that people will have a place to gather, to learn your word, and to be trained. I want to thank you for that, Abba Father. I want to thank you as this truth is dropping like bombshell in every and corner of Africa. We thank you for the social, the role of social media in disseminating this truth. And uh, the, uh, that believers are becoming aware of what is truth and what is falsehood. And uh, likewise, they are developing genuine love and the humility uh, to interact with one another and with even those who disagree with them continue to love their neighbor as themselves. I want to thank you for all this. I want to thank you for all the brothers uh, who have participated in this prayer link from different parts of Africa and uh, all over the world. I want to thank you for the communication there that there wasn't a much disruption. And uh, I want to thank you for those things. And lastly, Father, thank you for your servant, uh, Reverend Moses Ombiko and his family. And uh, the GM headquarters in uh, Nashville, once again, I want to thank you for all the board's members and those who have been supporting him, not only in prayer, but in kind and cash. Financially, we know that uh, the, the importance of money uh, in sharing this truth. I want to thank you. Pray for his health. Pray for his well-being. Pray for serenity of mind. Pray for focus. Lord, we pray that nothing will distract him and his, all those who are supporting him in one way or the other. Once again, Lord, we want to pray for the upcoming election in United States and uh, that is next week. Uh, we thank you that you are the one that dethroned and enthroned every authority is subject to you. Pray for a peaceful election that both winners and losers will accept the result. And this nation will continue to be a blessed land. And through these nations, missionaries and Bible teachers and uh, whatever, Christian workers are being sent all over the world 
to proclaim the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you for all this time we have spent crying for the for your plan and your purpose for Africa. Thank you for this grace to pray. We bless your name. We honor you for everything that you have done. You are doing and you will do in Africa in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Again, once again, thank you all so much for making the time to join in this great work that the Lord is doing. Uh, uh, let's continue to pray. Uh, engage others, your brothers and sisters and friends and uh, fellow believers in Christ. Engage them in, in petition in heaven. God wants to hear from us as his children. Uh, bring them along when you come uh, next uh, month, God willing, if we are still here, that uh, we will continue to knock at the door of uh, heaven for God to uh, reign revival, great awakening in our in the continent of Africa, so that Africa will no longer be called a dark continent, but a continent of light. And uh, I believe God that it will happen in our day and in our time. And so continue to petition heaven until we meet again. And for those of you who do join us Amen. for service, uh, uh, on so tomorrow, just uh, here in America, we go back and forth with our time. I, I still don't figure it out. Uh, tonight, we will flip our time backward. So you do the same. If you are in West Africa, instead of joining us at 5.30, it will be 4.30 p.m. your time. And uh, more updates to follow. God bless you all. And keep up uh, the good work. Until next time, may God richly bless you. Bye bye.